Alright guys, Jaxel here. Uh, in the previous videos, I showed you how to add text fields. And I also mentioned the fact that uh, image fields aren't really here anymore. We have text field, scoreboards, clipboards, and I just added a select menu in between the last video. And I'll, ex I'll explain uh, soon. Anyways, there's no image fields and the previous version of the program had image fields it was nice for if you wanted to select what character a, a player was playing or what country they were from as with like a country flag um you could do that and without image fields how's that really possible anymore and it, it, it is image fields aren't actually needed anymore and i'm going to show you why you can basically already do image fields with the text fields or the select field and uh, this video is for that. Uh, you may have actually noticed a link on the left side called Image Library, which I didn't talk about in previous videos. Uh, we actually will host images for you uh, on the awr.io server. So I actually have some images already here in folders. These are general social media icons. I even have... Uh, team icons and I do use that in my other package so if we look in uh, uh, this package and go and view that uh, when the screen comes up you'll see that I have a team icon on the uh, right side and that's because it's Jaxel double pipe AWR so I'm going to show you how to do that right now so first thing we need to do is set up our images and I'm going to do this uh, in the new folder. Let's we're going to do it with country flags. So let's call this countries. All right. Now let's upload some images and put them in the countries folder. And I have a whole bunch of images right here. And let's upload. All right. Here they are. Seven, seven images. And actually, wow, all these, some of these. Country flags are smaller than the others. I didn't realize that. I thought, all, I thought all flags were the same size. All right. Well, that really doesn't matter much. All right. So let's go back to our test package. And let's add a new field. Let's call it country. And title is countries. And let's call it a select menu. Select menu is slightly different than a text field. A text field, someone could input text. And then when they click save, that text gets saved to the database. Uh, a select menu is a predefined list of items. So if we were to, let's make this third. If we were to just have it here with the database empty, there is nothing in the, in the list. So we need to predefine them. So like the lock database option doesn't really do anything since nobody can add items except through this menu anyways. So let's add a few items. Uh, Canada, USA. I'm doing double pipes for a reason. I'm going to show you why soon. United States. And let's Mexico. Brazil. Now let's just do these three countries for now. And uh, all right, so now we have these country fields with the drop down menu. We can say uh, Canada and Mexico. And of course, we can swap them just like we could others. Screw that. I'm from America. This is America. All right. So, uh, what we got? So now we have these country fields, but they're not actually getting shown anywhere on the screen uh, because we haven't. Uh, updated our HTML or any of my, our scripts to uh, to contain them. So let's add a few fields to uh, our HTML page first. So we're in the div class. It's going to be very similar to our others, but I'm going to make one slight change. I'm going to have a nested division inside. All right, and let's keep in one line. So this class is going to be countries. Let's call it C1. Color doesn't matter in this case. And I'm not going to do any animations on this since I've already showed animations in the previous video. I'm not going to show animations again. Now, if you guys want to do animations with this, you can. So I'm going to skip putting slow or hidden on this because uh, let's ignore it. 
and I'm in the nested div. I'm just gonna call it flag. It it it's just something that makes it a bit easier for the coding for me. So here we go. All right, so we have these two extra divisions, and right now they're empty div divs, so we're not actually gonna see anything here on them yet. So let's add some CSS, some style sheets, and let's add this to the bottom. And this is actually going to be very similar to how I did the other ones, but a little different. So we've got our countries. And just like the other elements, I want it in an absolute position. Uh, let's make it 10 pixels from the top. And uh, that's all we really need there, I think. All right, then we got countries, uh, C1. And let's make this uh, 10 pixels from the right. Or, sorry, the left. Let's make C2 10 pixels from the right. And uh, if we go back to our image library, we uploaded a bunch of images. And what we're going to want to do is define those images as backgrounds to the flag divisions. So I have the flag divisions here. And I'm going to add some flags to that div. So let's go flag. And let's set these up. Let's see the flag. Let's make the flags 100 pixels in width. Let's make it 50 pixels in height. Uh, background, uh, position, center. That makes sure that the flag is in the center of this division. And background size, 100%. That makes sure that the flag fills out the entire division. And then we're going to have flag Canada. Background image is a URL. And the URL is, whoops, I'm in the wrong folder. Countries folder. The URL is right here. And we, whoops, yep, that is the Canadian flag. And we can click the copy the clipboard button and paste it right in there. And then let's also do that for the Mexican flag and the USA flag. And then click Save. And once again, if I refresh, you're going to notice they still don't show up uh, because we don't actually have any, uh, uh, what's it called? Any script set up for it, especially since I didn't add any ID tags. Now, with uh, the script we did before, we set it so that ID equals country one. And if I did that, then when it propagated, it would fill out uh, those divs with the contents of these fields. So it would say Canada, say, there you go, and now they're there. But we don't want to do this with text. We want to do this with images. So we're going to make a slight change there. I'm not going to name these country underscore one and country underscore two because those are auto-propagated, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to simply name them C1 and C2, and then we're going to manually propagate it in code. So let's head to the JavaScript and uh, let's add some a few extra stuff. You know, let's add it to the top. All right. And so let's make some new variables. Let C1. In fact, you don't even have to do let. You can say var. I'm, I'm going to do let though. Let C1 equal doc data country one dot split. And this means I'm splitting the uh, the value in doc data into an array based on specific characters. And that is the double pipe. And I have a double pipe here. So Canada uh, is the name of the country. And CIN would be the code of the image. So I'm going to do that. Let C1 equals country1 split. And then let's do the same thing with C2. I just cut and paste and then change the numbers, C2. All right. Then let's define that flag. 
and I believe we named the uh, ID C1. And then we want to go into the uh, div below it, which was flag. So ID C1 and then the flag below it. And I want to remove the existing class, whatever it is, of that flag. That is because if uh, that uh, there's already a country there, I want to make sure that the existing country is removed first. And then we're going to add uh, new classes. And I have to reattach the flag class. And then we're going to fill out with C1 zero and zero means it's going to be the first element of c1 which would be can canada would be the second element but in programming uh first element is zero and then we're going to do the same thing with c2 flag click save there we go and when we refresh you'll see that the country flag showed up now, like I said, I put no animations on it because I'm just using this as an example. But if I were to click save here, the country flag should swap, which they did. Now, I don't exactly know why uh, the screens are getting updated. That's uh, something I'll need to figure out later. But either way, they're there. You can see them. And it all works great. But there is a but here. Uh, let's say we have the country flags on players. Now, a player is always going to exist, well, generally going to exist to the same country. So having to select a player and then apply their country code each time sort of doesn't make sense. So there's actually no reason to have this country drop-down menu because this country drop-down menu makes it so that you have to constantly select the country to the players. And if you forget, you have to ask them. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply add the country code to the end of the player name. And then anytime I type in Jaxl, it will have that country code. Now I haven't updated the code yet, so it's going to say Jaxl code, Jaxl double pipe USA. And we need to work that out. So let's do this. And then let's actually get rid of this country field. But since we got rid of the country field, before we move on, we have to fix this code. Since the country field doesn't exist, this code is broken. So what we're going to do is we now know that the country codes are located in the versus one and versus two fields and not in uh, the country field. So Let's again, let's make let C1 equal versus 1 and versus 2 and split. And then let's then update that. Or let's update the existing verses to remove that country code. Uh, from doc data. So doc data equals C1, zero. And now I'll make sure that doc data versus one just says Jaxl and not Jaxl USA. So if we do that, it should look, that should look good. And then we are going to uh, do those flags and add the flags as C, C1, one. And let's refresh that and make, see if it worked. I don't think it worked. Let's see what inspect says. Inspect says cannot read property split of undefined. Doc data versus one is undefined. Ah, no. How's that undefined? That should be right. What, what did I do? I did something wrong here. Oh, you know what I did? The reason why it always says it's not right is because, Doc, this is completely wrong. 
Yes, my code is completely wrong here. I don't know when I screwed it up because these fields are not versus one. They are player, not versus. And apparently that screwed up all my code. Did it? Yes, I, I'm really amazed my previous code worked. If uh, all this was broken. All right, so let's fix all this code because I am a genius. Somehow the code still worked even with the broken codes. All right, so players one, players two. And that's why the screen was refreshing before I updated anything. All right, and now if I click save, Yep, now it's working properly. And it now has the country flags. And the country flags are propagating. And it managed to do it now without uh, having an extra field for countries. Now, you would want to have the extra field if the uh, extra field with the drop downs was for character usage. Because people do change characters. But generally, people don't change countries. I wanted to show both methods of how I do this. And like I said, I do it in my other script with team names, which similarly don't change often, which is why it says Jaxel 8WR. Anyways, peace out, guys. And I do apologize again for my broken code.